What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to grant admin permissions to somebody in your Discord server. So I've created this testing server here. I've invited my friend. Currently he doesn't have anything but basic permissions on my server and I don't have any roles created. So like I'm starting from scratch here and we're going to work through this together and I'll explain every step of the way. So what did I say at the start? I have no roles. So that what does that mean? I'm going to have to create the admin role in the server and then give it to my friend here. So let's do that first. Right click on the server, like go on the left hand side here, find your server, right click on it, and then go to or hover over server settings. And then there's the roles option right here. This is the guy we want. So click on this um, and you'll see I got nothing like I mentioned before. So do create role. I'd recommend just naming it admin just for simplicity, but you can name it whatever you want. Um, and then you can add like a color. So like if somebody talks, you'll see their name is like an orange now if they're an admin. I like to have that. And what's cool now, um, yeah, you can also pick this as well. So let's pick this just so it can uh, we can distinguish a little bit between our roles and our server. But it's going to separate admins from the rest of the users on the right hand side. I'll go into that later. Here's an important step. So permissions you'll see there's a bunch of things that are not selected and it may be intimidating right off the bat. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of all of these, you'll see advanced permissions and here is administrator. Take a look at what this says. Members with this permission will have every permission and will also bypass all channel specific permissions or restrictions. For example, this these members would grant get access to all private channels. This is a dangerous permission to grant. So if I pick this, I basically get all of these permissions anyways, plus like um, bypassing restrictions as well. So you have almost everything that the server owner has permission wise, except that you can't kick and ban other admins, like I said, or time them out. You can't do anything to other admins in the server, but you can exercise your powers on everybody who's below you in the server. So all the non-admins. The owner can exercise their power on everybody. Admins, non-admins, that's the hierarchy of the Discord ladder here. So I'm going to save changes. Um, and then I can go to manage members here. I'm going to add my friend. And just like that, he is now an admin in my server. So I'm going to just get out of here. You can press escape or whatever. But yeah, now you can see he has admin permissions. And from his point of view, since I'm the owner, he still won't see like these two options show up, right? He won't see them because I have a higher level of power. But if there is a non-admin in the server, he would see these additional options. Mod view and all this good stuff. So... That is a basic tutorial, guys, on how to grant admin permissions in Discord on your Discord server. Next video, we'll do, well, may not be next video, maybe the previous video, but I'll do a video also on how to transfer ownership. So take a look at that one too. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.